I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. I think I just stepped in something. I see enemies ahead. There's a rich one. Can I get we'll you get a ladder? You can get it. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity, especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrium, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man, names Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead, at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And, uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. More so for someone like you, I guess. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is that lyrium's valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. Long as you keep your eyes down and your mouth shut, we've got no further business. Whoever you're looking for, it's not me, I swear. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends. For money. That's what I thought. You're back. You got more business for me? Of course.
What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. <laughs> I'm no fool. Nobody just wanders around in Dust Town. You're here looking for me, and I don't like it. You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm a gonna fall into the sky. Yes. <laughs> when my doll left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? Nugs? Yes. They don't got much meat on them, but down here you can't be picky. Better than nothing. What for? You going to cook them up yourself? Yeah, I can find a nug for you. Could even get one from outside the city. Those ones in the deeps don't eat as much garbage. I don't know what they eat, but they always seem healthier. You know, shiny coats, bright eyes. How much you giving me? Don't know. Depends on how big a one I catch. Give me some time. I'll hunt them down for you. So hungry. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. You're as kind as you are beautiful. I owe you when I get back on my feet, if my feet still worked. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. What takes you out of the diamond quarter, stranger? You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? I'd say it was an accident try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. Duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel in dung until the infection set in. Never healed proper. I don't know where you're from, but in Orzammar, castless have no lineage, so it's no crime to hurt you. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. Means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. I'll just stay out of your way then. If I were tall and beautiful like you, can make all sorts of money. do that for you. I fi finished. What now? Spare a bit for the needy? Please. 
It's not for me, it's for my child. H have you a coin to spare, milady? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to... But no! I can't bear to even think of it! My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining caste family. We weren't wealthy, but... I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone. And it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. I fell in love. He seemed so exotic, you know? Tough and smart, and never had to bow his head to anyone. He was castless, and I think... No, I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was a son, castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. In Orzammar, lineage is traced through the child's same-sex parent. Had my baby been a girl, she would have been a minor like me. But as a boy, my son is considered tainted forever by his father's seed. Yes. I can become castless with him, which is what I've done. Others have raised children like this, right? Begging for change, sleeping in doorways? Y you would do that? But why? Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapster's in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. Got him. He's all squirmy, but he's a big fella. Forty silver? Real silver? I... I could buy something proper with that. A good meal, maybe a real blanket. I knew you'd be good on your word. Nice doing business. Maker's blessing on you, sister. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestor's land to spread the chant of light. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. And that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Could you talk to him? You're from the surface. You know the Chantry's good works. A Chantry here could provide more than just spiritual guidance. It could be a place of education, of refuge for widows and orphans, a place of charity. 
Too many in Orzammar spend their lives overlooked. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. If this Chantry could help just one person as much as it helped me, it's worth any trouble. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. What manner of substance a cave dwelling people would create their spirits? I trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines, we should be able to serve your needs. <laughs> what do you have? Someone's feeling generous. A round of Valentus Red for everyone! This, my friend, is the Paragon of Ales. The best your money can buy. Enjoy. Did you need something else, Warden? I? Maybe I can help. He's the one in the corner, still dusty from the mines. Don't expect him to be chatty. Afternoon, stranger. You looking for a stool to share a brew? Name's Naveen. I fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? Figured as much. Good folks, Wardens. I was in the Deep Roads when that one came by... What was his name? Dukan, Dunka... Uh, something like that. I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the Deep Roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Lord Harrowmont's got his own men there, all looking for signs of Bronca. Guess the city's getting to miss having a paragon. Everyone wants someone to put in charge. Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigs. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Watch yourself. Orzammar politics are getting near as dangerous as battle. In Dwarven Vavara, Gosvina Vavara.